All right, hey, look at me. I'm feeling a little ghosty. You can kind of see through me, right? Well, that's because I just got done using Ghosty. I exploded for a couple hours on stream today, and I just kind of wanted to tell you about me using Ghosty and kind of some of my initial thoughts about it. Now, obviously, Ghosty is still in its private beta, meaning that only a few people get to use it. I've seen communication around the lines that it should be available by the end of the year, something like that for public use. I don't know the exact timelines. I mean, I did make a PR, a pretty impressive PR that changes floor to trunk because or else you get odd behavior when it comes to using page up and page down. But whatever. You know, hey, hopefully it'll get accepted here. Uh, anyway, so let me show you a little bit about Ghosty. We're running Ghosty right now. I'm also using it with Tmux. Now, that will be very important. But let me show you something that I think is pretty cool about Ghosty. First off, everything is driven off of a config. It's in your XDG Ghosty config folder, right? And you can see these values. Now, if you take theme or you take background or you take shell integration features, and I open up this specific file called config, config, right, right here, source, config, config. You can find those values in here. Now watch this. So if I go background uh, right here, this is the type. I can see the type, I can see how it's used, and then I can specify it in my config. I can see exactly what the message is. If I want to actually have this as part of the documentation, I can go right here. Give me the default values plus the docs, and it'll show me all that. I can also just say, hey, give me all the default values. I can see all the default values for every single option. Uh, it's pretty fantastic. The config feels pretty easy to play around with. Kind of reminds me of the, uh, what's it called? The, uh, what is it? There you go. The Tmux control or the Tmux question mark operation, where you can just see everything and how it's used and what it means. So it's a very similar feel. You just get to have everything shown to you right away. Another cool thing about Ghosty that I thought, at least I thought was pretty cool, is you can just list the themes, go through here, you can search for Rose Pine, and boom, you can see right here, okay, Rose Pine is one of them. So then when I go and I edit my config, I can actually say, hey, themes Rose Pine. Now look at this. Now we're using Rose Pine. Pretty cool, right? I thought that was pretty cool. I really like that. It's really crisp. It feels really fast. It's a nice emulator. And most of all, it's written by somebody that I have a lot of respect for. And not only do I have a lot of respect for, you just got to check this out. Uh, I think he's been an excellent engineer. He said a lot of great, great things over the days. Uh, let's go to ha Hashimoto right here. If you look at this, he has given $300,000 to the Zig Foundation. He's helping making the language a better, you know, better for everybody. And Ghosty is a large Zig code base, which was really cool because that means when I looked at the code, it actually feels understandable. The thing about Zig that I really like is that it's a fairly easy language. Fair, fair. For being a systems level language, I find that often it they're like the hardest ones to really get good at, but Zig feels like a language that is much easier to get good at, and it's much easier to grok. It falls closer to, like, say, the Go side than the Rust side or the C++ side. And so that's just a really cool aspect about it. So those are, like, my three big wins for it. Really easy to configure and look up what the values are or even just understand what they are in code. Uh, obviously, the code base, fantastic. And then ha uh, Mitchell just being an awesome dude. And so good reasons to use it. One thing that I find to be like less awesome is there's no session management, so I still have to use Tmux. I would love to use a terminal that I don't have to use Tmux anymore. It'd be nice to just have one thing that's configured, one script to make everything work. I know Westterm is probably that terminal. I just haven't used it. Okay, I, I know that I know that because Sessionizer has been migrated. Somebody took the Sessionizer and turned it into, you know, something for for Westterm. So I'm happy about that. For those that don't know what Sessionizer does, you just fuzzy find to the to the project you want, and it launches a new project in there. And that way, it's all Tmuxified. And so if I uh, end up quitting my browser, I can then open it back up later on. I can open it in a separate uh, terminal, all that kind of stuff. And so I, I still love Tmux. I, I, I don't know if I can ever get used to not having like little tabs down at the bottom, being able to select like you know, like every single project that I open up, the very first tab right here is always going to be Vim. This is always just Vim that's open just the way it is. The next one is where I always usually execute all my commands and all that. And so not having that available is kind of like a deal breaker. So Ghosty, I just have to use the Tmux. The end. And there you go. That's kind of like my first initial impressions of Ghosty is quick, awesome, nice. Now, if you like this kind of content and you want me to do more of this where I just talk about tech stuff, 
let me know. Send me the signals. Signals obviously being likes, subscribes, and comments, right? Like that's the best way to communicate to a YouTuber that what they're doing is something you like. I, I know this is weird, but for whatever reason, every YouTuber has to say this because it makes a massive difference. Press the like button. I don't know why I have to say that. Why don't you like the things you like? Why don't you name your kid after me? I don't know. I don't know the answer, but this is like life. I have to tell you to do something you want to do anyways. I don't get it. Anyways, so there you go. This is Ghosty. I hope that you enjoyed this. Let me know if you want to see more of this because, oh, baby, oh, baby, oh, baby. I've been wanting to talk about a little bit of this. I got some things I want to talk about. First off, I have been doing the simulation testing, and it's been pretty dang fun with simulation testing. Uh, not only that, I also made my own logging format in Go. That was pretty fun to do. And not only that, I'm starting to actually play around and use just files to see, like, just the just the task runner. Is it actually good? Is it actually going to be something I want to use all the time? I don't know but it's fun. Lots of things I want to talk about with tech. So just let me know if you like this and I'll start doing it on this channel more regularly. Okay. Hey, the name. Why do I have to tell you to press the like button? What kind of human are you? Just press it because you like it. A jet.